show you guys a little bit of boating content. Al here with Chad and his wife, Caroline and I, and we are hitting the water, do some laps in the intercoastal. So before we get going with the racing, enjoy some boat content. So we are tied up four boats deep right now at the Casey Key Fish House. And everyone's hanging out, having a good time. We got live music, pretty awesome. But when you tie up like this, you really can't leave until the outside guy goes. We got two other boats tied on, on the inside of us and a couple boats back. Chad, what do you think of the Tiki Bar? Um, 10 out of 10. Popping right now, right, dude? Old person here again. <laughs> dude, everybody here is about 8% away from, from heaven, right? And at midnight, it'll be probably 6%. <laughs> They're still here. Oh, man. This guy's coming in the dock right here. The sun's setting behind him. What a beautiful sight. It's almost sunset. It's been a great day of boating. Let's get to some racing. It's Friday. It's day number five of Sick Week 2023. Tom Bailey. It's in the books. We are here. Day five, we have officially hit 100 Dr. Peppers as of this morning, That's brother. Actually, 103, right? 103. Now. Let's go. Our, <laughs> last, our last year we only did about 84, 85, but this year we had 100 Probably down by up. day five. Really Absolutely. Five. Absolutely, we did. Awesome. All right, guys. For this pass, you know we're pulling back our 510 leave in Bradenton. We're going to be leaving on six and a half pounds, but we're going to be commanding. An absolute staggering 42 pounds of dome pressure for this pass. That should put the car in about low 30s for boost. And uh, we're going for that four second pass right off the rim today. So let's make it happen. What's going on back there, buddy? Doing some secret stuff? Secret power things? Or what's going on? You got two batteries. What? In tarnation? <laughs> got to you know, pull out all the tricks here. <laughs> Either well, that or a Honda generator. Rattering all the Newton jewels we can. Basically, we figured out we needed basically a bolt of lightning, aka 1.21 gigawatts, on both of our pumps. You know? How many Newton, how many Newton jewels is that? Yes. <laughs> First pass of the day. Back in Orlando. Woo! Gotta make this one count. Alright, we got run number one the last day. All the weight in the trunk, a little bit of timing pull on it, maybe a degree and a half, more boost, lots of weight in the trunk. Hopefully this thing hooks. If we get it to hook, it's going to go super fast, but if it doesn't, it's going to spin real fast. That's a good start for our day. 
car shifted super early, so we got to figure that out. Probably raise the uh, the rev limiter, but we left hard. So feeling good about that. She was making some steam for a long time, but man, I don't know. We got to go pull that time set. Thank you. Thank you. Five two. Ooh. That's not what we want. Okay, she took it. it shifted super early really yeah i think it's just because it's making so much boost earlier on um we ran a 522 a 522 i know but i'm telling you it shifted like at the 60 foot so i was riding second gear the whole time yeah that'll definitely do it all right zach is a little worried about our blow off valve what's going on here brother well we're not hitting boost and we keep commanding more and more dome at it and it's just not really picking up. So I wanted to check and make sure we didn't have a boost leak, but as you can see, our O-ring is still in there and in she's one piece. A, she's a couple years old though. May not, let's go see if Summit has one. Yeah. You know? All right, we're coming up for pass number two. It's about 3.30. We got the heat of the day. We got to try and make it down with a lot more power. We were at 29 pounds of boost last time. We're trying to shoot for at least 32, 33. Added a lot of dome to it. Made the suspension a little loose. We're going to try it. That fell fast. Woo! All right, let's get the shoot in the car. Dude! A 500! You know what it ran? 500! I know. <laughs> oh my god! What are you doing? We gotta go for the four, right? Dude, give it another six dome! <laughs> got to. Got to. All right, let's go fill around, baby. Yeah. passes have we done this week because <laughs> we get this short. we have literally probably done like 15 to 20 passes on this car i don't think we should be being no girl anymore i think she's a little tired i think she i think she's ready to go. <laughs> she said you guys are done i'm done take me home i mean in a realistic standpoint our transmission was not cold <laughs> i know i know so with that torque for coupling way out here hot fluid does not help with that yeah guys hotter fluid makes it more viscous you can't apply the power down as efficiently science, it's math. science math physics when can we go to Bradenton? <laughs> well they got streetcar takeover next week and i just need to put a 275 on it we held it down we got 40, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 150, 117 Dr. Peppers in five days. Don't think I'm going home to drink water. That's cranking, brother. <laughs> nice work. Let's get it. All right, tell me your final number. 
123. 123. 123 Dr. Peppers. Zach and I did how many? 117. 117. So how many is that cumulatively? Almost 250 Dr. Peppers, right? Between the four of us in five days, guys. We were cranking out 50 a day between four people. That is disgusting. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. We are at Streetcar Takeover. Brain no time, brother. You know the deal. No time, guy. Hey, they're going to put my time, but don't put it on your Instagram or YouTube. I'm tell people. Don't post my runs, Cooper. He's, this guy sometimes. Hey, don't be trying to do that bull where you time my pass, you know, on your video later. I counted my head. Back in my truck and sitting in the AC between passes is a lot. Getting back in my truck between passes is a big refresher from sick week <laughs> sitting in the AC. But we figured out what's wrong with the car. We hit a boost cut at 35 pounds. The car leaned out because the fuel pressure dropped. It kind of spiked down because we are running that 14 volt battery from excess power like we were last week. So I ran over to the shop to grab it. We're gonna throw it back on the car before we do some more passes. And uh, I don't think I'm going to do another hit before we go straight into uh, some heads up racing. It's going to be heads up no time, and I'm pretty stoked about it. Okay guys, so my lane preference was right lane, but the other guy got a pick. He chose left lane, so that worked out well. The right lane's the McFarland Racing Lane. If you haven't seen it, it's on the, the time boards. And uh, we're paired up next to a red 240 for the first round. I think it's you and me, dog. Yeah. You throwing all the boost at it first round? No, man, we just caught on fire. What? I what happened? It pushed the dipstick out. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta get one of them locking boys. Yeah, so I put a bolt in it. Yeah, bolt in it, yeah. or uh, you can like zip tie it down. Yeah, we tested the we tested the actual like the level of it, yeah. and then it was good. So we just put the bolt in it. Your crank raise pressure is fine and everything. Yeah, everything's okay. good. I'm just looking for you. Good luck, man. Hey, you too. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Where, where are you driving? No, no, we're up to. Oh, you're with. Yeah. Cool, guys. Well, good luck yeah. out there. Let's have fun. You're yeah. in the left lane. I'm in the right. Yes, sir. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, let's yeah. get it. You want yeah. to? <laughs> Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see you out there, dude. I know about you, man. <laughs> That thing was on a pass. I'd like to see the G's off that because that might have been a 4.0. Well, not a 4.0, but a 4.9. <laughs> I wish we knew that time. Nope, I think we might have just done it. I think that might have been it. <laughs> I'm getting, it. Yeah, I'm getting some real OG Dr. Pepper vibes, guys. The TPS sensor was unplugged. Look at this data log. I just, I'm a little butthurt. All right, the green yeah. line is my TPS sensor. It should be at 100% for the whole run, and it's 
and it just screwed everything up. So you live and you learn. I used to zip tie it. I thought I was cool. Didn't have to zip tie it anymore, but we're going to zip tie it again. Dang it. Dude. Dude, this is living right here. Are you my Uber driver? <laughs> this is first class. Everybody loves this thing. Do they? Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.